Njërësit imi artë, njërës në takimi të fundit të atë haus për këtë dit, unë jam shumë i zumë që kemi sot dy misë të tjere, një artiste, një galeriste, Katerina Shendel e Flaka Aliti. I'm switching now in English so you can understand what I say. And some friends that I'm very happy to have here, Adam, Erzen, and some other friends that are arriving. Um, you opened the gallery in Kosovo, Lambda, 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 and I'm very curious to see and to hear the motivation, why, how come, you know, what happened, and uh, <laughs> uh, what was this adventure, which, I mean, I know a bit, but I'm really happy to have you here to explain more, and I am also happy to have you, Flava, here. Uh, you were a guest in my uh, class in Venice, right. so I know a bit, but I'm very happy to bring your experience here in Škodra and to show it to my friends that visit uh, this place, which is, as you see, it's a house, but at the same time it's a space where people come and share uh, ideas and experiences. So, we start listening to you and then we jump to Flaka. Uh, thank you, Adrian, for uh, inviting Flaka and me. And uh, actually today it's more or less two years we go on a Saturday afternoon, the day after Flaka's opening in uh, National Gallery in Pristina that Isabella Ritter, uh, my partner from Austria, and I went to a bookstore in Pristina to drop a book. But the bookstore was closed and it had a sign saying for rent. And Isabella and me wanted to collaborate and started the gallery. We had that for a couple of years in mind. But on that Saturday afternoon, we looked at each other and we said, maybe we call the guy, we rent the space, and two days later we signed the contract. And uh, we called Flaka and said, Flaka, we have a space, and Flaka's like, great, I'm in Vienna, where is it? And we were like, no, Flaka, it's in Pristina. So it was also for Isa and me a bit of a surprise that we uh, started um, a gallery in Kosovo, Chris, that would never, five years ago, would, would not have been on my mind, but uh, when I first came to Pristina, I was really impressed by the art scene, and it's really special and different uh, <laughs> from the other scenes in the region, and um, so I kind of thought it would be nice to do something there, also knowing that I have, have and we had the still have the support from the friends and the artist friends uh, we made there. So when you uh, open a gallery, every gallery needs to have a name, and that was the next challenge. How would we name the, uh, the gallery? And we wanted to give it a name that expressed something communal and bounding, and so in a playful uh, way we used the concept of a sorority. And then an artist friend of ours uh, said, why don't you call it Lambda, Lambda, Lambda? And, uh, we like that a lot because also lambda is the sign in physics for frequency and that somehow reflects also on the dynamic, uh, like on the character of our enterprise, let's call it like that. Uh, so mm. the artists uh, we are presenting and working with are commenting in a poetic uh, <coughs> manner on our contemporaneity between the personal and the public we all. And um, I would like to take you now briefly through the uh, <coughs> exhibitions we did and also through the rituals. Of course, uh, when, uh, in Austria, when you move into a space, usually you smoke it uh, in order for the bad spirits uh, to go away. So for the first um, ritual, we invited uh, Astrid Ismaili to do a performance called to pr or a ritual called to protect the future, and uh, we like, rituals vary across every can can across uh, every culture, and we sought to experiment with the ritual per se, like w because a ritual is always something a bit ancient, but rituals are in our... Can we maybe just change the light a bit? You, you prefer light yeah, because it's before. straight in my... Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, 
Is it better like yeah, this? Yeah, it's better, thank <laughs> you. Uh, but then, as it was just to, to see better to the... Yeah. But <laughs> um, so we wanted to experiment a bit, uh, experiment a bit on the concept of the ritual, and because it's rituals are part of every uh, of our everyday life, and uh, they are something ancient, but also we invent them on a during our life in a way. And uh, so, since the first ritual um, we liked it so much, we thought it would be a nice idea to do that prior to every exhibition. So. Our first exhibition, uh, we invited Flaka and the Austrian artist Natanya, Nadia Tanasova, and uh, they called it Switching Protocols. And Switching Protocols uh, refers to a change in communication somehow or that something has changed. And uh, it's, it's derived from the HTTP language, from computer language. So. Uh, Nadia uh, doesn't want. To, she's afraid of flying. So wherever <laughs> she has an exhibition, she takes the bus or the train. So for uh, so she came by train and by bus to uh, Kosovo. And also, uh, what I have just to uh, make a note on that uh, to, to earn money, Nadia drives the subway. So she's a subway driver. She's interested in labor and. Her work always um, relates to her everyday practice in a way. So on her trip from Vienna to Kosovo, she collected magazines and she made cutouts uh, of uh, elements in the magazine she liked and she assembled it in the way she thought uh, they should be assembled. And also the newspapers she collected <coughs> from Vienna and Serbia and Pristina, she flattened them out and she arranged them again in stacks surround, to surround the works of Flacke, uh, which is called, it's a series of uh, three fences and they're called Luminous Garden. And those fences, uh, those are pictures of the fences in Peyton, that is the neighborhood where our gallery is situated. And in Pristina, they used to be really. Uh, low fences b before um, the internationals moved in and then uh, the fences got higher because of security reasons and that changed the communication between the neighbors. But Flaka will get into her work afterwards a bit more in detail. Um, do, do you think we can, I mean, turn off the light to see better the image or you prefer you can <laughs> turn it. <laughs> and the can be on the wall. You yeah, that's fine. I just don't want to have it in the face. That's yeah. it. Sure. It's high up and I can see that. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or I'll manage. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. It's so nice with this light on you. You know, it's just like <laughs> the same. Uh, so the next the next ritual was performed by Brilliant Pireva, and it, uh, he elaborated on a tea ceremony that was prior to the exhibition. I'm not going to name that, uh, say the title because it's a bit too long. Uh, it, so we invited three artists: Jakob Ferry, Brilliant Pireva, and Dadan Shikrova. All of them are from Pristina, and uh, they did a group exhibition together and. This is the work of uh, Jakub, and Jakub uh, is interested in everyday realities and also in outsider art. And um, in his works, uh, the in individual always seems to be um, alienated from um, their surroundings, and he always also collaborates with different craftsmen. So some, he works with, for in, with the carpet makers in Kruja, sometimes he works with somebody who makes uh, is, uh, is a carpenter. So for each art, for each series, he chooses another, um, let's say, profession um, to collaborate. Uh, uh, here on the left hand side, you see the work of Brilan Pireva, and to your right, from Dadon Shikrova. Uh, and Brilan explores uh, between uh, the. Uh, bet uh, between the phys uh, physical phenomena 
of uh, perception, and here it's he was interested in uh, the uh, in the virtual and the analog. Because these drawings he made on his phone with his finger, then he printed them on a slide, and he projected the slide more or less the same size as an iPad uh, on back on the wall again, and. Um, Dadan uh, is interested in uh, language and poetry and his work is all about uh, love and longing and belonging and uh, this work is called Your Enthusiasm to, uh, to Tell a Story and um, it's basically a poem about the yellow and his emotion about the yellow which tell a relationship or an emotion he shared with another person and uh, where the heart is he play, uh, there's a small speaker uh, so the, the visitor needs to sit down hug the wood at all, puts his ear on the heart in order to hear uh, the poem uh, the next uh, ritual, Ruin the Landscape was uh, performed by Tobias Spichtig and Paolo Thorsten Nagel. And uh, Tobias uh, wrote the text that uh, he sang, and uh, Paolo mixed the uh, music life to it. And they both also did an exhibition, the exhibition afterwards, uh, which was called Daily Business. And uh, uh, Tobias created this materialized ghosts that are made out of old clothes, congealed in resin, and they are human size but drained in volume. And these kind of thinned out appearances are surrounded by uh, sculptures made out of old hi-fi systems uh, that, uh, that filled the space uh, with an unpredictable sound, which uh, are, were compo uh, compositions by uh, Paolo Tosnagel. The Polish artist uh, Marcin Tarteka <coughs> performed the ritual looking into the Lambda star. Prior to the exhibition of the Austrian painter Tatjana Dannenberg. And Tatjana Dannenberg, uh, her paintings can be read as traces of fleeting fra fragments of memories coming to appearance in a ghostly manner. And that's uh, don't seem to be an image yet, rather in a stage of somewhere between the body and the imagery and like the, and the memory actually, the imagery of a memory. S uh, Simon de Premöller performed the next ritual which was called the flute and the pipe and uh, that was followed by an exhibition by the Canadian artist Jeremy Sure. And, and we were showing a series of um, works and uh, their representation of 3D scans uh, of brains uh, that uh, show the effects of mind altering substance use to the human brain. And they were printed uh, on uh, glow in the dark uh, vinyl. So the exhibition was all in the dark. Was when you entered the exhibition space, it was dark, and after like 20 minutes, they faded out, and we had to charge them again with light, and then it got switched back. Jakob Neulinger's ritual, evil eye explosion, happened right before the opening of Darren Shikrova's exhibition, where we meet sometimes at night, bright bright, long talk in white. And Daran's installation is a materialization of his poem Theology uh, into a quasi-digitalized human form. He creates uh, an environment by which the spectator is absorbed and emerged into. It's a flux between <coughs> language and its translation into the visual representation. And part of uh, that, uh, instead, so the visitors were sitting on the sculpture to watch um, the video, which uh, Dardan did together with um, uh, a Swedish, uh, a Swiss uh, filmmaker. And the video is a visualization 
of that poem he wrote for the exhibition. Uh, Have It, it's a collective from Pristina. They performed an old Kosovarian ritual and uh, they called it melting lead under the moon for the spring blossoming soon. That uh, happened more or less uh, uh, right on the 21st of March when spring started and it was prior to the, uh, to the opening of Clara Lieden's Tinker's Dam and uh, Clara's uh, wor uh, works with sites are very site specific and uh, related to architecture environments and if for in Pristina um, she spent one week and together uh, with her we were driving around the city and she found the material for this sculpture you can see here. And um, a second work we were showing, it's called Warm Up, that she did for the manifesto in St. Petersburg. And um, she was warming up with the State Ballet in St. Petersburg. Femra performed the sparkling luminal water um, ritual prior to the exhibition Europa and the Bull, which was curated by Adilia Fotore Francini. And um, at, uh, Adilia was interested to take on the Greek myth as a starting point to reflect on geography and its representation, romanticism, materials as symbols, the fetish we have towards objects. And in times of political uncertainty, characterized by high mobility and displacement geography and its linguistic origin become a tool to understand further current political and social settings. And the artists in this exhibition uh, share an interest in symbolism, language, what happened? Uh, I, symbolism, language, alchemy, juxtaposing personal and popular imagery, imagery to define identities in unstable contexts. And a month ago, Edona Vatozzi performed the ritual Lamentation, and she also took on an old Kosovarian ritual that as an origin to translate it uh, to the, the uh, she basically used the structure of the old ritual and created a new one, let's put it like that. And that happened prior to the exhibition which is on right now by Hanne Lippert and it's called Foam. And um, Hanne uses her voice as medium and sh she claims language for her own to try to overcome uh, the overruling claim to authorship. And um, it, the exhibition is all about coffee and the misspellings of cappuccino. <laughs> and this is what I briefly would like you to hear. It's not. city, she stopped ordering a morning coffee, not because she didn't want a coffee in the morning, but because she couldn't pronounce the order correctly in a foreign language, and was instead of coffee, often given tea, or in the worst case, a glass of tepid water from the tap. Chapacino, Chapacino. Chapuccino, 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 Crappuccino, Capiolo, Yoga Fomo, Milk, Froth, Cat, 
Pacino, Fat Pacino, Hat Pacino, Nap Pacino, Nest Cafe, Best Cafe, Worst Service Ever. Kaching, 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 Stress. Espresso, Nespresso, Depresso. What else? What now? What next? Cap chip 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 chop chop a holic chocolate chip cookie froth flat pacino flat pacino snappuccino clappuccino cappuccino hong kong King size, bath foam. Kaka, oh, Coco, oh, Coca, Ina, Kaka, Chino. Shit, coffee, crap, deals, heartfelt, real estate. Kaching, 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 Sure thing. Kaching. 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 Cheap tricks. Following sheep. Chopsticks. Chapsticks. Cap po. Cap po. Cap po. Cap. Puccini, Pasolini, Pavarotti, Ramazzotti, Macho, Macchiato, Coffee with Milk. Wow, Puccino, Now, Puccino, How, Puccino, Meow, Puccino, Warm, Calm, Cat Milk. Coaching. Kaching, 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 kaching. Cappuccino, cappuccino, yes. Cappuccino, hmm. Cappuccino, maybe. Cappuccino, maybe not. Meaning, no milk froth today. My love has gone away. Thank you. Can I have the. <laughs> <laughs> Check, please. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you.